Today, you all are going to get ohmed on a juice from Naked 100 called Lava Flow. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to Spitback. My name's Nathan. And I'm Dave. And on this channel, we give reviews on vape-related products, give them a rating from 1 to 10, and give you our thoughts and opinions about them. Today, we are reviewing a juice that we have seen quite often on uh, various YouTuber channels, as well as doing our fair amount of research on, you know, the best top juices of 2019, 18, whatever it might be. And that is Lava Flow by Naked 100. So we're gonna give you our thoughts on it. So let's vape it. All right, guys, now we are going to be testing this uh, Lava Flow by Naked 100. I'll go ahead and go first. I already got it dripped in my dead rabbit. I'm using the Dov Po topside uh, dual squonk. I've got that at, I've got it at 3.5 volts at 0.17 ohms. Now, like we've said uh, previously, it's a pretty popular juice. Um, pretty much, you just do a Google search on it and almost any vendor website will have this juice um, it does come in a couple different types there's there's the salt nick version too for those that use like pod systems um, otherwise you know these do come in 60 mil glass dripper bottles um, nick is in 0 3 6 and 12 milligrams it's a 70 30 blend of vg and pg um, as far as the salt nick version it comes in 35 and 50 milligrams just dripping a little bit more in there. <clears throat> you know, I, I like these bottles, but at the same time, I don't. Uh, when you're squonking, <laughs> it's a pain in the butt trying to get this sucker filled all the way up with it. It's when you, if you're strictly just dripping, yeah, these are great. They work good. But. Even so, I that compared to a regular unicorn bottle, I don't know. I I just prefer the. You prefer the, no? The, oh, the, oh yeah, for sure. These, I mean, it's it's an, like an eyedropper, pretty much. It, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you do get... feel like a scientist using them, so that's cool. <laughs> right. yeah. Want to get precise with it, sure. Okay. It smells good. Um, with this juice, the flavor is the strawberry, pineapple, and coconut. Um, and uh, what did you say it was? The, the PGVG of 70-30. So uh, average. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as far as the flavor goes, it's pretty much the same as far as the inhale and the exhale. It's consistent. You're not getting, for me anyway, you're not getting a primary, you know, flavor that overpowers everything on the inhale and exhale. It's pretty consistent all around inhale and exhale. It's, I'm not getting a lot of coconut. I'm not really, it, uh, the strawberry is mostly what I'm getting, but it's not overpowering, if that makes any sense. It's... It tastes just fruity to me, which as it, it should, because it's, you know, with those three flavors, it's pretty tropically, tropically. So, um, I, I like it. The only thing I have to say about it is the harshness. It's rather harsh. Now with this, I've had, it's not a fresh cotton. I had techie, which we have a review, review out for this right now. I had that in there and, um, Prior to this video, I've vaped this on fresh cotton, and it, it was I had to stop because it was tearing my throat up so bad. Right now, it's not even that harsh because I think it's mixed with the techie, but I'm still getting the primary flavors off of this. I made sure to vape it completely dry first. Um, and like I said, I vaped it on fresh cotton, and it tastes the same. It just doesn't have the harshness right now. But I'm telling you, though, it is pretty harsh for me anyway. And I have heard that more citrus i've done my fair share of research and they say that the more citrusy flavors such as you know the pineapple or coconut and whatnot are going to be a little bit more harsh it also depends on um nicotine level obviously 
it also and um, the nicotine that's used. You know, some companies I've heard might use not as good of nicotine as other companies. So a lot of variables come into play with that. But right now I'm not getting the harshness for what because of what I mentioned. But uh, uh, as far as a rating goes with this. Flavor wise, I'm not going to include the harshness on this. I'm just going to go flavor wise. I'm going to have to give this an eight because I like the flavor and the smell of it is just awesome. I love it. It's got all three flavors that I really, really enjoy. You know, strawberry, coconut, and pineapple. So, now is this pineapple better than some of the other ones we tried previously? Yeah. And like I said, I don't get a lot of the pineapple though. Like, I Mostly can't pinpoint it, strawberry. you know, it's, you can taste a little bit of the strawberry. That's, I think the primary in it, you know, it almost smells like a strawberry smoothie. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's almost like. like a strawberry milkshake in a way, yeah. but a little bit more tropical. Yeah. That's what it kind of smells like. It's straight from the bottle. Yeah. I don't know if you want to read the flavor profile <clears throat> that's actually on the website. Yep. It's got one of those unique ones. All right. As David's doing that, I'll go ahead and read this. And I'm reading it directly from uh, our little outline here. It says, Lava Flow by Naked 100 is an irresistible flavor that pre... pre oh, I can't even read. Permeate... Uh, what, what is that? What is that? Right there. Permeate? Permeates. Per permeates. We, permeates. We don't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> permeates your sensors with a tropical aroma. A distinct... Wow, there's a lot of bad hard words in here. <laughs> Say that one now. Amalgamation. Of course, you give me this, so I have to read this. Thanks a lot. Just skip that word. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this word right He's here of rich strawberry infused with a refreshing swirl of coconut and pineapple inside one ex exuberant wow flavor profile. I'm sorry, I should have looked at this before, <laughs> man. Okay, anyway, just look at this. Go to the site. Um, uh, go go look at it on the on the internet and read for yourself and. Make fun of me all you want for yes. not being able to pronounce them. It's pretty much on every website, so. Man, they just wanted me to feel dumb reading this. Now, I guess trying this, yeah, I, I get the, the harshness part of it. And that's not even full I effect. I don't even know why it does that. And that's, uh, like I said, that's not the full effect. That's way harsher. This is mellowed out really? a lot because Jeez. it's mixed with this. It was really harsh. I wonder what it's like in zero. I've been curious about that. Because, yeah, the flavor-wise, it's really good. What are you getting out of there? It's like a, like I said, like a, it's kind of like a strawberry smoothie almost. Right. Um, yeah, as far as pineapple, I, if it's in there, I, I don't really get that very much. But definitely the, the strawberry with the coconut. Um, the oh, coconut so you're getting coconut. Being, yeah. I can get, kinda, okay. That kind of, that's what. It's kind of the tropically type taste to me, but flavor wise, yeah, it's it's awesome. But yeah, that harshness, as you probably could tell, I was kind of choking <laughs> a little bit yeah. every time I took a puff on that. But uh, yeah, I don't know though. As far as rating goes, I'd have to give it a seven. Okay. Um, and <clears throat> I'm kind of throwing the harshness part in there a little bit. I know he just said without, but yeah, I'd probably take it up to an eight without the harshness. Yeah, yeah. Um, but even with the harshness, I mean, if I started vaping, I'd probably, probably get used to it a little bit. The, the reason why I didn't add harshness to my rating is because if I add the harshness to it, I'm going to go down to a one Jeez. because yeah. I won't vape it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I want to give you guys an, you know, I don't, that's weird. I don't know. Why I'm I'm interested to try it in a zero because I normally vape zero right, anyway, yeah. um, and nicotine generally is quite a factor in the harshness of it. Yep. Yep. Um, so, I don't know. but yeah, that's that's my thoughts on it. Do you have anything else to add? No, I don't believe so. 
like I said, as far as, you know, if you look this up, just look up Lava Flow Vape Juice on Google. And like I said, it's it's pretty popular. Almost every site has it. Um, you know, I was looking at Element Vape um, site to get the information from it, but a lot of them are pretty much the same. And all of them have high ratings, too. Like, yeah, every site I've seen, people are giving us like four or five star ratings. So... And uh, one thing, too, I want to add, I guess, thinking about this is um, my girlfriend, Brittany, who was on, on one of our previous shows as a special guest, she's vaped this also, and she doesn't get any throat hit. So it varies. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it. I've, all, I've heard that some people could be allergic or something to nic um, certain nicotines or uh, flavors with that nicotine. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Brittany doesn't get any throw hit. She loves it. Um, needless to say, this bottle, and I've got another bottle too, that it's going to be going to her because I won't be vaping this after after this uh, episode. I can't. I will not vape harsh stuff. I mean, why would I want my throat to be torn up? I don't like that. I want to have a good vaping experience, not a rough one. So um, yeah, so it just depends on the individual also, clearly. So... If you've had this juice um, or have any suggestions for other ones, please let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, um, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, spread the word. We're just trying to get ourselves out there a little more. Um, and if you have subscribed to us and are watching because you got the notification, thanks. Shout out to we our subscribers it. out there. Uh, we might be doing a little something special for you in the near future, but we're going to keep that a secret for now. So, <laughs> hell yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. You've been owned. Hey guys, welcome to Spit Back. My name's Nathan. And I'm Dave. Oh, that's well, it. <laughs> yeah, <this> part, sorry. Some <laughs> right. opinions about them. Uh, today we'll. We Today, I'll just start over. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Spit Back. My name's Nathan. And I'm Dave. And <laughs> what the <laughs> is going on today? It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> and we review vape related products. Give them, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you, Sunday. <laughs> you. Okay. All right. So I don't know. How? Cow. Stretch the face muscles. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And on this channel, we... God damn it. It's f***ing terrible today.